Dude, Christ. What? But that just goes to show exactly how thin this is. <laughs> that is crazy. I feel like this is so deceiving. Hello, today I will be reviewing Honor Active's newest Everybody Seamless collection. If you are new to this channel, my name is Tracy. I do a lot of active wear reviews as well as lifestyle content, but I think what I'm most known for is the brutal amount of honesty and detail that I provide in my reviews. So with this being equally as entertaining, I hope that it is helpful for you guys. So super excited to review this collection for y'all because not only do we have new Effortless, but we also have new Performance Seamless Tops, which I feel is something that you guys have been asking for ever since Mellow Soft came out and they've delivered. In addition to that, we have some new lounge pieces as well as a full size gym bag. So with all that being said, let's just jump right into the details that you need to know about this launch. Before we dive in, I am using my mic that I usually use for my mic'd up workouts and whatnot for this because every single time I turn around, the audio gets cut off. So I figured I might as well use a mic. Let me know if you like this or if it's like too blaring and if you just prefer me being non mic'd up. But anywho, launch details. Again, this collection launches on March 19th at 11 a.m. Central Time. I will put the time conversions up here for you guys. If you find this helpful, then as always, my support link is down here as well as in the description. Shopping through that link supports me via commission, but also lets the team know that I helped you out. Oh, also, I know that throughout my last reviews, I told y'all that if you found myself helpful, shopping through my link definitely helps my relationship with the brand. And I was hoping that, you know, they would start sending me more pieces and more colorways to review for y'all. And guess what? They delivered and sent me more pieces for this launch and they will also be doing that moving forward. I'm excited to, you know, deliver more stuff for you guys because I actually actually wasn't supposed to get Miss Wisteria, but here she is and we love that. So anywho, items that are launching. Let's go ahead and start off with the classic little capsule. So we have the classic oversized long line tee, the classic oversized lightweight t-shirt, as well as the everyday crossover bralette, which y'all know is one of my favorite honor active sports bras of all time period. Next up, we have the effortless mini capsule. We have the strevy bralette launching as well as seamless shorts and the leggings. Moving on to the go-to seamless capsule. I'll go through the products first and then talk about the fabric later on, but we have two loose options. So the seamless short sleeve loose top as well as the seamless loose long sleeve top. For the more fitted styles, we have the fitted long sleeve top as well as a short sleeve. And then we also have the fitted high neck vest. Last but not least, we also have the large go-to gym bag as well as the monogram wash bags. Now in terms of the colors that we will be seeing in this collection, there is your staple black, ash gray, oil blue, which we have seen in unified, white wisteria tropical blue, as well as khaki. Now, not every single piece is coming in every single color for the effortless strappy bralettes and the, you know, effortless capsule as a whole, right? Khaki is not going to be launching. I haven't heard anything about resocks, but if I do, by the time I post this review, then I'll put it somewhere up here on the screen for you guys, as well as in the pinned comments, discord stories, just all the channels <laughs> that I can possibly tell you guys about. Let's go ahead and do some color comparisons because I wanted to take every single color and compare them against different collections, right? Because the everyday crossover bralette in ash gray is going to look a little bit different than effortless. So with that being said, I'll go ahead and put comparisons for ash gray up here. I also compared it to coal. It is actually quite different. I can't tell which one I like more because I like both shades of gray. I think gray is just a staple. So we, we love us some gray, right? Comparisons for Miss Oil Blue. I lined up the Seamless Oil Blue with the unified oil blue and for the most part other than like a shade being a little bit off just because it's different fabrics I mean it is quite similar here are comparisons against other blues as well last but not least here are comparisons for Miss Wisteria purple against lavender so they are actually very very similar Wisteria is just a little bit more muted I remember lavender not being squat proof at all you guys so I'll definitely insert squat tests whenever I get to that point but otherwise I think that's all of the color comparisons I have had. I'll go ahead and put my measurements up here for you guys to see. I will also put my honor active sizing up here too, as well as in the description as per usual. And you guys already know how this works. Whenever I review a certain piece, I will also list it down in the description as well as the size that I picked out. Now let's start off with what we are all here for, to be quite honest, and it is effortless. <laughs> I am wearing the effortless strappy bralette in the color wisteria purple in a size small. Now we've seen me talk about this over and over again, so I'm not going to spend too long on it. I would rather get to the meat and bones, which are the leggings, but there have 
have not been any changes to the sports bra at all. It is a little like boobalicious moment. I'm not gonna lie. It's like giving me a nice little lift, but it just has a scooped neck here with these very thin straps that come all the way to the top and then cross in the back. There's a little bit of ruching in the center here as well, just to kind of separate the, the yiddies. And just for a little like cute detail, the bottom band is not that stretchy. And I've talked to a lot of girls in my Discord community, at least about the sizing of this, but I do think that it runs a little bit small because as you can see here, there's a little bit of like side boob hanging out right here. And these straps I feel are a little bit on the more narrow side. In addition to this coming in already pretty narrow, these straps are just like really thin too. So the bra looks small on me. Like it, it looks like I might be wearing a size that's a little bit too small. So I think for next time, I would be interested in trying a medium because this is not my favorite bra silhouette from Honor like by any means, just because the seams on the straps are exposed and it gets a little bit itchy on me sometimes. With that being said, if you have a sensitivity to stuff like that, then you might not like this bra actually. I know they're adjustable and everything, but I feel like if I were to adjust it all the way down, then the bra would just kind of sag on me instead of actually giving me a lift and you know, perking the girls up a little bit. But I'm still getting a solid like low to moderate compression here. I know it's supposed to be a little like micro bralette anyway, so I wasn't expecting much, but I do feel held in. I feel good. It's just the strap that really bothers me at the end of the day. Here is your gape test. I don't gape in a size small whatsoever. And because this bra is a little bit more on the narrow neck side, I never get any gaping with bras like this anyway, but turning to the side. Oop, not the tag sticking out. Sorry. Oh, and the Honor Active logo is embroidered as all the pieces are nowadays, but here is what the back is looking like. Once again, these straps just kind across in the back and meet at that bottom band. Bottom band is a little bit more on the thin side, which I love because it is a rather open back otherwise. And like I said, this bra, like it does have stretch to it, but there's a good amount of like bouncing back and snapping that it does to your body. So it is digging into my lats just ever so slightly. It's not to a point where it's like really noticeable or anything because it does sit underneath my lats, which is really nice. So I don't really feel anything at all, but that's also why I say that if you're in between sizes, just go ahead and size up, especially if you have wider lats, but overall short line bra, cute, comes in all the effortless colors that are coming out as well. So you get a little like mix and match moment and it actually sits perfectly underneath the go-to seamless fitted tanks, which we love because it literally looked like I wasn't wearing anything underneath. So that was nice. Next up, we have the effortless shorts and with Serio Purple once again in a size extra small. Just right off the bat, this does fit exactly like how the Berry ones fit from 12 Days of Gains. It has that like super thin waistband, not plushy at all. I don't think the effortless and the recent launches have been that like super plushy type of fabric that's like on the thicker side. So I've seen this talked about multiple times now, so I'm just gonna address it. But basically with this waistband, it's like thin. So whenever you stretch it out, mold it to your body and then you kind of bring it back together like this then the waistband kind of sits like this so it is kind of like flimsy in that aspect not thick anymore like the tangerine orange oh my god tangerine orange the old cool brown that launched like last february ripe fig that launched last february they just fit so much plushier so much softer than this whereas this feels on the like slicker side the thinner side so yeah once again this is giving berry from 12 Days of Gains, where it's just super thin and fits snug, fits snug for sure. All of the effortless in this launch, in my opinion, fits a little bit snug. So if you're in between sizes, I would recommend to go on and size up unless you just truly want that like really snatched fit. In which case, just know that if you size down a size, then it's gone. It's gonna fit you tight. And the squat proofness would be significantly less just because you know, you're stretching out the material more by sizing down. But yeah, that's my little piece on that. If I have any graphics to compare for you guys, then I will definitely put them up here somewhere on the screen. Details for those of y'all who are new here, there's a two tiered high waisted waistband where the thicker the ribbing is, the more it snatches you in. So as you can see, my waist is cinched and <laughs> snatched. Um, these shorts are typically a five and a half inch inseam, but as you can see, I rolled it up a little bit because I just find it more flattering when it sits up there that way. This is what the stretch is looking like in the thigh area. I feel held in, but I'm not getting sausage thighs or anything like that. It does have that 360 contour as effortless bottoms usually do where it comes around and cups your glutes just to add a little bit more emphasis. But here's what the back is looking like. There is that scrunch back there. Besides that though, no new details at all that, um, you know, they've made since the launch of effortless. So let's go ahead and do this little squat test. There you go. You can see the whole card, the star and everything. Let's go ahead and squat. I am using both of my ring lights, both of them. So this might be a little bit harsher than if I were to have only one. Let me just turn this off for example. 
that's a, in a little bit more natural lighting for you guys to see. Let's do this without. And I'm wearing a nude thong. Also, off the bat though, I feel like these are a little bit more squat proof than lavender because <laughs> lavender was a little bit scary. But with my nude thong, you can't see anything from the front. Whereas with like tea green, for example, you can see my thong from the front. Not with these though. Here's your squat test without the Macy's tag. There you go. All right, before we move on to the ash gray effortless leggings, I need to show you guys what I mean by this because I just took these off and see, like it just kind of is wrinkling all silly and stuff and it's not actually sitting like, you know, straight. It is so stiff, like, yeah, it's it's just very stiff. But anywho, let's go ahead and move on to the effortless leggings. I'm wearing the ash gray colorway here, also in a size extra small. Same exact features as the shorts, but in legging form. I love this freaking colorway so much. We were in need of a new like dark gray colorway because you can just honestly never get enough of gray. Still same thing here, two tiered waistbands. It's high waisted on me. The body of the legging itself is still soft. It's still very stretchy body molding. I still think they're super, super flattering, but they do fit on the more snug side in my opinion. Opinion. These fit like how the forest green pair fit. I don't really experience any gaping, but I feel like with old effortless, it just kind of like pressed onto my skin. Whereas with this, there's just a little bit of like, oh, right here. Does that make any sense? <laughs> I really hope that helps. I still feel comfortable in my true size extra small. If you're in between sizes, sizing up or down truly depends on your fit preference. Just know that with sizing down, the material will shear out like this because it's stretching out your skin a little bit more versus sizing up. You might get a little bit of like excess material in the crotch area, but you might find comfort in it overall though. But it does fit a little bit more snug, just like how it fit from the 12 days of gains launch. And I feel like you can play around with the length on seamless leggings a lot. Like this is fitting me seven eighths, but I could easily make it a full size legging or make it hike up a little bit higher if I truly wanted to but this is where these are sitting on me but let's go ahead and do a squat test just without any Macy's cards or anything I feel like you could see that it's sheer which I was really shocked by actually because I expected this pair to be squat proof seeing as it is on the darker side let me turn off this light for you guys <laughs> not my knee cracking I feel like the mic definitely picks that up now <laughs> there you go and then the Macy's card. Whee. Okay, there it is. I was wondering where it was. When stretched out, you could see it, but otherwise, I would say that it's doing pretty well, actually. But I mean, now it's gonna be <laughs> stretched out when I squat, so there you go. So yeah, let's go ahead and try on with Stereo Purple. Dude, Christ, that was a freaking workout. Holy crap. I think Wisteria fits even more compressively than Ash Gray does. Like, what? That is so tight. Like, wow. What? I need to try my marine teal again to see if this compares to how that fit because like, holy crap, this is tight. Oh my God, when I tell you guys that like, I could barely even get the scrunch up my crack, like it wasn't sitting flush in there. There was like a little bit of space because I just kind of had to like maneuver stuff and make things sit a certain way for it to actually sit the way that I wanted it to because this runs so snug. I would definitely say to size up if in between for wisteria. I feel like things are being way too stretched out. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, I feel like this is appearing to be even more sheer than these shorts were because dude, these fit so tight. Like I will line up the waistbands for you guys. I'll put any measurements and any comparison pictures that I can find that would be useful. Yeah, no, this is, yeah, okay. Yeah, they definitely fit tighter than the other ones because the other ones were not nearly that sheer when squatting. That's crazy, let's turn this off. Yeah, mm-hmm. It's kind of giving marine teal, I'm not gonna lie. That is, that is an insanely tight fit, wow. Yeah, that's definitely tighter than this. Let me measure it real quick. The leggings are literally a hair thinner. It's the one on the front. And let's compare this with ash gray. Yeah, I knew it. That's a pretty significant difference. Yeah, that's crazy by a centimeter. So definitely size up if in between. I'm still getting over like me sweating from putting those on because that was crazy. And also I put on lavender just now and the way that this fits so differently from this and this new batch because like, holy cow, the stretch is insane. It just truly feels so much softer so much more plushy like oh uh, you can even see how the material like bounces back that it literally just fits differently and this waistband is so much softer and has way more stretch too even though it's still doing the things right like it's still molding onto my body really nicely Ugh, i just want them to go back to the old material dude i cannot anywho squat test Oh yeah, I feel like lavender is definitely less squat proof than wisteria is just because it's a lighter color overall. Let me turn this off. 
There you go. Dude, yeah, I can wear this. Like, the Wisteria leggings are barely even wearable to me, man. Like, that is going off as soon as I get home from the gym. But this, I can wear for like hours because it's just so plushy and soft. Anywho. I digress. From this point forward, all I have are tops to show you guys, but let's move on to the classic little capsule. I have here the classic oversized tee in tropical blue in an extra large, so I have a large here to compare for you guys as well. I typically get sent a large. I don't know why they sent me an extra large, but this is solely like a sleeping shirt because it's just super freaking big, y'all. I'm talking like... I like me some oversized tees, but this is a dress. But if that's your vibe, then that's your vibe. You know what I'm saying? It hits me like mid-thigh. It's even longer than the effortless shorts, which hit me up here. If I were to tuck it under my bra for that like pump cover type of vibe. This is where it is sitting on me. So there you have it. Sleeves are like right where my elbows are too. But all it has is the interactive embroidered logo on the top left corner. Other than that, no other branding whatsoever. Let's go ahead and try on the large to compare. So this is what the large is looking like on me in wisteria purple. So as we can see, the length is just a, a slight bit um, shorter than the extra large is. The sleeves definitely hit above my elbows. And then here is the back. Just your basic tee. Let me go ahead and tuck this in for you guys to see what it looks like. Pump cover like. Oh, I like that like matching fit moment and um, this is going to be the lightweight version so it's a little bit more airy more bouncy obviously less dense than the typical classic tees and whatnot i don't know if those are making a comeback anytime soon but this is the lightweight version i find that these do shrink in the dryer but a very small amount like not even noticeable really so i typically dry these on perm press which is what i also dry geo's clothes at as well so they don't shrink especially with the like 100 cotton type of shirts but yeah, they're nice little pile covers. The last section we have is the go-to slash everyday capsule. First and foremost, let's talk about the everyday crossover bralette. I have talked about this bra before on my channel. It is not new. We've seen her before, just coming out in the newer colors now. So I have on ash gray in a size small. I love this, you guys. Like, I love me this bra. Every single time I wear it, I'm like, yes, is giving. It has a very basic wide neckline, but I don't gape in this, which is like pretty crazy. But yeah, wide neckline with these super thin, silky, stretchy straps that have some plush to it. So I don't experience any like digging in or abrasiveness in my traps at all. It is also short lined and y'all know me as a short torso girl. Y'all see this? I barely have any room here before it hits my freaking waist, guys. So that's why I love me. A shorter line sports bra sits right underneath my bust. Honoractive raised rubberized logo on the left hand side. And these straps are dual, by the way. So it splits off like this. And then in the back, it also crosses, which we love. There's no digging in at all. As we can see, it's very, very stretchy. But one thing that I've heard a couple other people say about these straps, is that they don't like how it just twists because of this like ring here. It just kind of sits weird sometimes in the back where it does this little like crisscrossy moment. It doesn't lay completely flat, which for me, it bothers me sometimes in other sports bras, but just with the nature of how thin these are, I don't really mind it all too much. But as we can see, it is a pretty full bust coverage type of bra. I barely have any like armpit fat hanging out. I feel like other bras are definitely more like narrow than this is. Here is your gape test. Again, no gaping at all. It's actually quite crazy because this is a wider neck sports bra. And then here's the back, super stretchy. We love her. This fits very, very true to size. Whereas the effortless strappy bralette fits on the small side. Size up if in between, but only if in between. Otherwise, definitely stick true to size. Wonky little color combo, but it's fine. You know, we'll live with it because I'm tired of seeing Ash Gray and Wisteria Purple. So for the second time in this video, we are wearing Miss Tropical Blue in the go-to seamless fitted high neck vest. I think I got all of those words, hopefully. But I love this, you guys. Oh my goodness. There's not a name for this fabric. It's just in the go-to two slash everyday capsule where the everyday bra is, the everyday crossover bralette, the muscle vests even, although all of them are very different materials. It's just in their go-to kind of like grab and go capsule. This fabric is extremely thin, stretchy, powdery, single layered. There's no built-in anything here and it's very breathable. I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions comparing this to Mellow Soft. It is not like Mellow Soft at all because that was a modal blend, whereas the fitted items at least are going to be a nylon elastane blend. So as we can see here with me stretching out this fabric, you can actually see my hand. I know that you could see it for Mellow Soft as well, but that just goes to show exactly how thin this is. It's just very powdery, very stretchy, soft. Maybe this will show it a little bit better. Yeah, see? That's like extremely thin. It doesn't feel cooling at all. I feel like Mellow Soft felt just a, t a tad bit cooling, just ever so slightly, but this does not feel like that at all. It is built for performance, but I wouldn't consider this to be slick, like performance material. The stretch retention on it is 
I would consider it to be like quite low because although it does mold to your body and everything, if you were to stretch this all the way out, while it does come back to the original-ish shape, there is a little bit of like give to it, if that makes any sense. So it's not gonna be to the normal shape that it once was at. I hope that makes sense. But in addition to these silhouettes, they also added a little bit of like contouring on the sides too. So as we can see here, there's a little bit of ribbing on the side and in the back, we have the same exact details. There's just a little bit of like that breakup from the ribbing in the armpit area. I'm assuming for it to be a little bit more breathable. So whenever you're sweating and whatnot, then it can just have easy ventilation, right? I'll post pictures for you guys to see what it looks like. Let's actually get to the pieces now. I don't know why they did this, but they sent it to me in nearly every single color. So I have Miss Oil Blue, Wisteria, Ash Gray, as well as white and I will try on every single one of them for you guys to see exactly how opaque or sheer they are compared to ash gray which is the bra I'm wearing underneath but I did get an extra small in all of these tops they fit extremely true to size whenever I first saw the silhouette I was not a big fan it's giving like wife beater I hate saying that like I don't even know that, why that's a term to begin with but whenever I wore this to the gym yesterday I loved it I was obsessed with it and this is how much it stretches out like I can jeez okay hold up <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> so yeah, um, they're very stretchy. I wore this with the all day cargo joggers and I tucked this underneath, just like how I tuck in my mellow soft tops and everything. And it was so flattering. It was giving bodysuit. I just loved my outfit yesterday, guys. It is so comfortable on the skin and it is truly sweat wicking. Like I was sweating in the gym yesterday. You couldn't see a single thing with this. And I just love how lightweight this is while also being super like form fitting too, because I don't know, I just love me a form fitting top, but we obviously have like loose versions for you guys as well. But although I did have this all the way down inside of the cargo joggers it did eventually ride up a little bit so it was kind of sitting bunched here so wherever you put it at it's not going to stay there it's going to naturally ride up which is why i'm showing you guys what it looks like naturally sat like this so I'll post comparisons with Mellow Soft as well as the Timeless Vest too. So that way you could see what it looks like. I would say that it's not really similar to the Mellow Soft tank. It's more similar to the Timeless tank that launched because it has a very thin racer back in the back. Whereas the Mellow Soft one was just like, it basically was full coverage in the back. Similar type of like contouring on the sides too, just to kind of line up as much as they can with the shorts. This lines up with the Effortless shorts a little bit, not quite on this side. I wore the Effortless strappy bralette underneath this in the intro. Y'all couldn't see anything. I wore it for my workout yesterday. Throughout the entire time, you could not see anything because the sides of this are so narrow though. I really do think that the effortless strappy bralette is gonna be the best bra to sit underneath this. If you want this to be more snatching size down because look at this, like y'all see how stretchy this is, right? Similar to Mellow Soft, if you were to size down, it's not gonna be snug. I don't think Mellow Soft could even fit snug. Just like with this, I think it's just gonna mold to your body a little bit better if you size down and if you truly want like a BBL fit then maybe size down two sizes I don't know like it's just super stretchy if there was a double extra small I would probably size down to a double extra small just for it to snatch me even more I'm not gonna lie this silhouette is a silhouette that I need every single color in but this is the go-to seamless fitted top in the color black it's the only color that I have and it's giving body guys like I'm kind of obsessed this is what it looks like all the way down hello like what? It definitely fits more fitted, I guess, than the tank does. I will post comparisons of this with the Mellow Soft full length short sleeve. Overall, like this is just different, right? Like I, I'm not gonna sit here and compare both of them because it's like comparing apples to oranges. It's, it's not the same. This is truly built for performance. It is sweat wicking and it can withstand your workouts. Whereas I feel like Mellow Soft can't. Will I still wear Mellow Soft to work out? Of course, like I just love that fabric so much. I still would consider this to be like an everyday fabric though because I can definitely see myself wearing it out I'm wearing a size extra small if I didn't mention that before and it definitely fits very true to size size down if you want a more snatched fit but in a size extra small I do feel snatched already you know what I'm saying the sleeves have a good amount of stretch to them they definitely fit form fitted here so there's no excess or anything there's no like actual pinching going on at all so I don't think you'll have an issue with anything being super abrasive but because it is fitted if you have like larger delts and you just don't like that fit then that's when I would say to size up if that's something that really really irritates you but other than that though there's actually no digging into my armpit like I have to press in a little bit for the fabric to actually touch my armpit and I do feel it doing its thing because I'm a little bit hot right now guys from that effortless still this can withstand sweat like I, I truly do feel that it has the same exact contour details as the tank does I know it's super hard to see in black at least I'm wondering if black fits a little bit more compressive than other colors do just because of the nature of the dye I'm interested to see what the other athletes think this is what the side looks like 
in the back. It's just your basic little top. And I will definitely get some use out of this at the gym. First of all, oil blue and ash gray fire freaking combo i know this is like a little weird outfit going on right now but it's giving like bolero it's giving shrug this is going to be the long sleeve fitted top in oil blue once again size extra small so it's literally just like the short sleeve but with longer sleeves actually no i will say that the measurements are a little bit different so i'll post them up here somewhere for you guys to see what those comparisons look like but the fitted short sleeve top definitely was a little bit more narrow than the long sleeve top is although on you can't really tell because it's still form fit and then this is where the seams are hitting on the effortless shorts so it doesn't quite line up as we can see right here um they tried though they definitely tried yeah same details same contouring on the side and everything these sleeves are laying on me without digging in just like mellow soft is this definitely is wider than the mellow soft sleeves are i feel like the mellow soft sleeves they do cinch you in a little bit more whereas this just kind of like lays on you really nicely as we can see there's still a little bit of like wrinkling on my sleeve right here these sleeves are noticeable noticeably longer too. So as we can see, there's a little bit of bunching here. There's the ribbed cuff at the end right there that also matches the bottom hem as well. Overall, I do really, really like this new seamless top. I feel like it's exactly what we needed in terms of offering more performance options now before i move on to the last two styles that i have i wanted to compare the loose versus fitted options i'll go ahead and put the graphics that i created somewhere up here on the screen for you guys to see the loose version is actually a little bit of a different fabric composition than the fitted version is the fitted version of the go-to seamless tops are going to be a nylon elastane blend whereas the loose version is going to be a hundred percent nylon there's a little bit more balance a little bit more flow to this top versus this it's a little bit more structured just because the fabric is a little bit different. The loose version definitely feels a little bit more on the cooling side, less powdery, but still has the same amount of stretch and is still very lightweight. So I was telling the girls in my discord that I think this is going to take over for the classic lightweight tees, at least because whereas this is 100% cotton, this is just cooling, stretchy. It's it's meant for the gym. So I think these will be a little bit more popular than those. I'm not going to lie to you. Short sleeve top in oil blue size small. I do like how this size small fits. I mean, it's very true to size right it's not going to be crazy oversized but it is going to be a looser top so this hits me right before the bottom of my effortless shorts when wearing it how i normally would if i were to roll this all the way down then this would be what the length is looking like sleeves have room in them so it's not going to be super fitted very flowy very lightweight material still single lined has the honor active rubberized logo on the upper left hand side there are just a couple of subtle contour differences on the fitted pieces they were a little bit more raised whereas here it's a little bit less overall though for the most part the contouring is pretty similar for all of these tops i just love the amount of stretch on this like it is so crazy you guys let's see how opaque this is okay it's actually a little bit more opaque than the fitted version is because there i mean you were still able to see my hand but you see it a little bit less here another detail that i keep forgetting to mention but in every single one of the go-to seamless pieces in the back center hem there is a little logo here sewn in that says honor your body which i think is actually pretty similar to what lululemon has in some of their pieces sizing for tops like this really depends on your preference like i could go with a large and be just fine you know what i'm saying i would rather size up than down though just because for bigger tops like this i would prefer for it to be baggy and oversized but this is how a size small which is my true size in tops fits on me all right friends the last piece that i have is the go-to seamless long sleeve loose top in white in a size small now i love this guys like what the freak it's literally just gonna be the uh short sleeve but in long sleeve loose version so still fits just as billowy just as baggy has amazing flow to it these sleeves are a little bit on the long side though i will say it naturally sits like way down here i need to kind of bunch them up a little bit to sit where i want them to but i feel like eventually it'll just kind of come back down hits like almost where my fingertips are i wish i had thumb holes though like if you're gonna be this long with ash gray i feel like you can definitely see my skin underneath right there contrasting with it so white i feel like you could only wear like a skin colored type of bra underneath if you truly don't want this to show but i don't really mind it too much like i mean it's 
it's white. It is what it is, but I really do like this. Um, this is, again, what a size small looks like on me. So size to however you're wanting this to fit. But with my true size small, it is fitting not on the oversized side. It fits exactly like how I would want it to in a loose performance top without being too long. Alrighty, friends, the last piece that I have is the go-to large gym bag. So I have a lot of stuff going on over here that you guys cannot see, but essentially I'm going to fit all of this into this one gym bag. I'm super excited about this because Honor Active is finally coming out with a larger gym bag that isn't this itty bitty little thing. This looks crazy in comparison, but let's just go ahead and talk details about this before I actually do a live demo of me trying to fill it up and everything. It is quite large. I'll pop the measurements somewhere on the screen if I have those handy for you guys. The material is made of this like really high quality matte material. It does feel like it's going to be waterproof and this is what the sound is like by the way, but... Like it doesn't have that nylon type of feel like how normal backpacks do. It's just really smooth, super soft as well. Has the interactive embroidered logo in the front center right there. Two huge pockets that have like a waterproof gray lining on the inside as well. Slips right in there, no issue. On the side here, you do have a pocket with like this elastic situation. So you could put your huge water bottle in here if you really needed to. Interactive logo written out and this is heat pressed so it's not gonna be embroidered. I wish it was. Turning to the left hand side, you have have a shoe compartment right here and it's deep guys like my hand is on the other side of this bag it goes all the way through I don't think I've seen a gym bag that has this deep of a shoe compartment before like that's kind of crazy but the inside is yeah see that's pretty much the length of this like entire bag turning this to the other side you don't have any additional pockets or anything bottoms do not have any like prongs either so it is a smooth bottom these straps up here are like super thick kind of like a seatbelt <laughs> but it does strap in like so and and then the large strap here is attachable. It has the interactive logo multiple times along that bigger strap. And it is adjustable, although these handles are just like plastic. I don't know, I don't really like the plastic at all. But so is the detachable clip here. It's also made of plastic, which again, I don't know, it's just kind of cheap to me. It's still doing its job, you know what I'm saying? So. There you go. Zipper has the honor logo written out as well and it is rubberized, which I really like. And then let's go ahead and open this. The inside is rather roomy, love to see it. There are just two slip pockets on the inside here. And then on the flip side, you just have a little tag saying honor with a zipper, but that's pretty much it. Nothing else on the inside. They don't have like an inner water bottle pocket or anything either. So let's go ahead and actually fill this up. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do a live demo of what exactly can fit in this gym bag. I went on my Discord and asked you guys to send me a couple of recommendations of what you would realistically put in your gym bags. Right off the bat, one of you guys said that you put your yoga mat inside your gym bag. It's just not gonna work. It is entirely way too long. However, if you wanted to, you could put this like underneath your gym bag. There aren't any like Velcro straps or anything underneath this, like I said. So you're gonna have to kind of do a DIY situation there, but it does fit a full on barbell pad with even a little bit of room on the side as well. And this is just your standard sized barbell pad. This is like a 64 ounce hydro jug perfectly fits on the side right there when he all said shampoo i'm not upstairs right now so i just got this little like bissel fluid situation <laughs> i'm gonna put that right there a full thing of lotion boom big old headphones against the wall creatine pre-workout a whole tub of protein powder stands up in there just fine. I'm just gonna stack it like that for now. Change of clothes. We have some all day cargo joggers as well as just like a oversized classic lightweight t-shirt. Shaker cup, cable ankle straps. So there's that side pocket. Lifting straps, that inner pocket right there. Wrist wraps, gonna pop them in there as well. Deodorant, there is a third sleeve, so I'm gonna put that in there. Tripod, now this is a big boy. I feel like my tripod is not nearly this big. It has a much smaller footprint, but let's see. Ah, it fits. Okay, love. Typically with my claw clips, I just put them on the outside like that. Towel, I mean, very, very small towel. Rice Krispie treats, snacks. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the zipper. So let's turn this around and put this in here. One, two, three Rice Krispie treats and gum. Zip that bad boy up. A little wash bag, it's from Lululemon. Just gonna stick that in there. Phone attachment for your tripod. Scrunchies I feel like could just sit on like the outside here in one of these pockets. So let's just go ahead and do that. Put some booty bands in there. Let's go ahead and zip this bad boy up. 
That sits up pretty comfortably. And now let's go ahead and put our shoes in. I think if you're going to carry a water bottle this big, you might not be able to fit shoes in there, especially if you are, you know, loading this bad boy up. Realistically, I would probably put my Stanley in this pocket, which means that we can push all of these things to the side. Let's see if that gives us a better chance of sticking these shoes in here. Turning it on its side. Okay, the first shoe is in. Second shoe. Let's see here. Will it make it? Will it make it? Okay, period. Zip that hole up. Okay, with all that being said, this is what the gym bag is looking like. You really can fit nearly everything in here. That is crazy. I feel like this is so deceiving. <laughs> like whenever you just first hold it up because you're like, oh, there's no way they could fit all of that. It fit all of that. It is a lot bigger than it actually seems. I really hope that this was helpful. <laughs> Alrighty friends, with that being said, this about wraps it up for this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed, but more importantly, found it helpful. If you did, definitely give this a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all, and I will be watching my comments like a freaking hawk. If you are shopping this collection, this launch, then my support link is the way to go. If you found this helpful and are wanting to support me, it doesn't give you like a discount or anything. It just lets the Honor Active team know that like I helped you out. It tracks the sale to me and gives me a little bit of commission as well and keeps these reviews going without your support. I literally would not be standing here doing this review for all of these things. So I appreciate you guys so, so much. I get questions every single launch about you guys being like, I hope this went to you. Da, 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 da. For those of y'all who are newer to shopping like links versus codes or just how to support an athlete or affiliate to begin with, you essentially just want to click my link in the description, shop, all of that, check out with that one singular click. Like you wouldn't want to click another athlete's link after clicking mine, if that makes sense. So my link should be the last one that you click prior to pressing complete on your purchase. And that would successfully credit it to me but otherwise my next video going up should be the navigation hole i'm super excited for you guys to see that there's just a lot of stuff coming in the pipeline if you haven't already subscribed for more videos coming your way so soon follow me over on instagram and tiktok at tracy fit definitely on instagram because i will be running a q a for any questions that you guys have after watching this video but until then i will talk to you guys later so bye